Okay, today we're going to have a look at something which is mystifying to some and uh, is, is known uh, to others. This is something called browser caching or web cache or web browser cache. What caching is, is stored memory of the pages that you visited uh, on the web or on the internet, which are stored and then shown to you so that the web browser does not have to reload those images when you arrived at the page again. So it's a time saver and uh, you know it's useful in um, visiting things uh, that you see repeatedly and, and not forcing you to download those images each time. Um, however, browsing, browser caching can become a bit of a problem when you make a uh, change to your website and you go to look at the website and you see that the, the change hasn't, uh, hasn't happened or at least it doesn't appear to have occurred. What can you do about browser caching? Okay, well, it turns out there is, in fact, some things, there are, in fact, some things you can do. Um, you can actually use the tips in this video to set your browser so that it will, it will actually either not save anything or it will automatically check to see if a newer version of those files exists um, on the server. And this will allow you to see your website as it is when you just make your changes and you publish um, the published changes are in fact there. It's just that in, in the case of browser caching, the browser is not showing you the most recent files. Okay, so let's go ahead and in Internet Explorer, we'll start there since that's the most common browser software. If you're in Internet Explorer, you would go up into Tools, go down into Internet Options, and then inside here, you will actually find under the General tab something that says Browsing History and you can actually um, go in here to adjust the settings. Okay, so I'm gonna click on settings. And the most important setting change that I would recommend is if you're going to be doing a lot of editing and you don't wanna be annoyed with the browser problem, I would set this to check for newer versions of stored pages every time I visit the web page. Okay, oftentimes it's either set to every time I visit uh, Start Internet Explorer or automatically. Um, I would recommend every time I visit the web page, and that way it's going to be always checking and uh, mo more likely to show you the most recent updates and uh, cause you a minimum of stress. Another interesting point here is that you can reduce the amount of disk, disk space to use, and if you do so, um, you know there's there's just not as much data being stored, so it's more likely it's going to refresh. But the, the best way is to have it set here to every time I visit the web page. Go ahead and click OK to accept that. You can also delete the current browsing history by clicking on the delete button there. You're not gonna cause any damage to your computer. You're not gonna harm anything or lose anything valuable. You're just deleting temporary internet files which are used to speed up uh, your browsing. Um, and uh, in most cases, especially with high-speed internet, it's just not something that's uh, it's necessary. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and click Apply to save the changes and click OK to get out of that. Okay, let's look at how it works in Internet, or I'm sorry, in Google Chrome. Okay, we're gonna launch Google Chrome here. Now we're inside the Google Chrome browser. And over here, it's a little bit, I find a little bit hard to find in here. Um, if you click on the top right, you can go down into Settings, or you can go into History. Now I prefer to dive straight into History. And here we can see the only things I've uh, visited recently in Google Chrome. And we can click here to clear browsing data. Okay. And this can set things, you can set it to just within the past hour, within the past day, or the beginning of time. Um, sounds a little ominous there. Someone's got a sense of humor. Okay, once you've gone ahead and um, done that, then you can go ahead and just close the uh, settings right here, and that gets you back into your normal browsing. So it's pretty straightforward in, in Google Chrome, although it is a little bit hidden because it's sort of hidden there. There is a shortcut you can, you can see down here if you click Control H. So if you do Control H on the keyboard, it will pop you up into the, the history and you can clear the browsing data there. Okay, it looks like they're getting away from using the term cache. Okay. Um, then let's go ahead and look in Firefox. We go into Firefox here. Um, it looks the same. I just popped open Firefox. It looks it looks a bit the same here. Um, under in Firefox, we want to go into Tools, then Options, 
And then we want to go under the general tab, you have, um, let's see, no, I'm sorry, it's under the privacy tab. You have Firefox will remember history. You can set this to never remember history or you know use custom settings, okay? And then it says here, you may want to clear your recent history or remove into individual cookies. Clear your recent history would do the job. It's, as you can see here, it's clearing the cache. Okay, and there's another way you can do this as well. You can go into the advanced tab and under network, um, you can actually clear the cache. So it says cached web content here and we can click to clear now and that will do the same thing. It's already cleared um, in my case. Um, you can also set it to override cache management and limit, which is very similar to the Internet Explorer setting we already looked at. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Once you, you finish there, you click OK. And then as a, as a final step, if you're still having trouble with um, seeing an old page, you might want to close the website browser all the way back down and relaunch. Um, in most cases, however, you should be able to go ahead and just click on Control-R to reload the screen. I'll show you what happens here. Control-R, it sort of re refreshes. You can see uh, the screen kind of flash. Um, that works. Control R works in every browser, so you can do this in Google Chrome. Here's a Control R, you can see it's reloading. And then here is the Control R being done in the um, Internet Explorer browser. Okay, so hold down your Control key, tap your R key, and that should show your, uh, your site the way it is. And the way, you know, and basically that's just showing you the truth. It's not remembering um, what it looked like yesterday, it's showing it to you today. And I just wanted to do this video because it is something that um, causes a lot of confusion. Obviously, if you make a change or an edit to your website and you go to look at the site and it looks like it hasn't changed, um, you know, you feel like something must be wrong. It's nothing wrong. It's something that affects just about everybody out there. But with uh, the steps described in this video, you can actually minimize the pain from that and uh, get, get on to editing and, and pretty much always see everything as it is. All right. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.